Good afternoon. Today is the 7th of May 2014. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to speak of, speak of it as my kitchen. Uh, not because Karen doesn't cook, but Karen works full-time yet at the university. And as a consequence, uh, I do most of the cooking. I do it by choice, actually, because I enjoy cooking very much. I think I enjoy it even more than she does. We both like to cook and we enjoy cooking together. Uh, I've shown some, uh, I've shown the kitchen uh, in some of my videos in the past and uh, a number of people have express, expressed interest in, in the kitchen. So I thought I would show it to you in a little more detail today. Um, I uh, designed and we built it ourselves. Um, we had a very, very nice, enjoyable, lovely kitchen in our old home. It was about the same size as this kitchen, but it was not very practical. Uh, it was wonderful to, to, to work in, but you needed two or three people because uh, strategic items were not placed where you could get to them quickly. You had to walk around a huge, we had a huge wood stove. Uh, it was about 12 feet long, actually. It was really big. 12 feet long and 5 feet wide and you had to walk around it to go and go leave the kitchen to get to the refrigerator and so on. So when I knew we were going to be moving here, I had this kitchen completely emptied and I started designing, thinking about what I wanted. And the main thing I wanted was a work area like this, what we call a kitchen island. Um, it's about uh, 8 feet long and 4 feet wide roughly. Uh, it has a cooker that is a, uh, uh, um, stove top and uh, what a sink it has plenty of room and it has a very clever little I don't know if you can see it from there a very clever little device here it isn't a device really it's just a it's actually just a garbage can but it's built in so that you can just shove everything in there I use it only for for organic waste uh, in Germany, everything gets separated, plastic, metal, uh, glass, and uh, organic waste. And um, I use that just for organic. And we uh, uh, compost that usually here. Um, we built this out of stone, or actually uh, cement blocks here, here down below. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And the top and the sides are beech wood, very, very hard wood, very nice to work on. Uh, this is not a commercial kitchen. I cook a lot. I enjoy cooking for other people. I don't sell anything that I cook. Um, if I wanted to do that in Germany, I would have to have, this would all have to be stainless steel. Uh, you can't use things like, you can't you use materials like wood in the kitchen when uh, you uh, have, when you do commercial cooking. Um, that doesn't interest me really because I never intended to do any commercial cooking. We have a, I'm going to step over here now and bring you up a little bit. We have a very large vent hood here. Um, it's about six, seven feet long and, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe two feet wide, two and a half feet wide. And it is, uh, <laughs> it has a three horsepower, three phase motor. I can turn it on for you. When I turn it on to maximum, which I never do normally, but I will for effect right now. Um, it almost sucks the raw spaghettis out of the pan. And an interesting phenomenon is you cannot successfully shut the door with it on because the suction is so great. I'd have to open the window in order to shut the door. Um, it's overdimensioned, but it gives me the advantage, or it has the advantage of, as you can see, providing a place for me to hang all of my equipment. Uh, I have a lot of gadgets and equipment that I use for cooking, and they all can hang up there. I'll turn this off pretty loud. Uh, 
Um, I bought this, there's a story behind this vent hood, and I will tell you sometime, but I won't uh, go into that right now. I try to use commercial equipment when I can because it's just better than most home equipment. Uh, I'm going to show you here my uh, my sink. It's a very nice big sink um, with deep uh, openings to work in so that when you have big pots and pans you don't have to struggle with uh, uh, a sm uh, splashy water all over the place. It has a sprayer which is very powerful. It's excellent for cleaning off pans. And I have a commercial es espresso ma machine which many of you have already seen. And grinder. And my espresso equipment up here and some decoration for coffee. Uh, a tea machine which we uh, use on weekends because Karn likes to have tea for breakfast. Well, I do too. Yes. Um, we have a dishwasher and the dishwasher, like our washing machine and also the, um, the cooktop here, the uh, stovetop, are from Miele. Miele is a German company that um, makes absolutely exquisite equipment. It's very expensive. It's much too expensive for my blood, normally. But uh, eBay being what it is, <laughs> We uh, are able to have Miele equipment uh, and um, we enjoy it very much. It works very well and it's very reliable and of the highest quality. Uh, another company, a German company that's maybe less known in name, but uh, is also very well known for in pro with professional cooks, is Gaggenau. Gaggenau makes this big 90 centimeter um, oven. I love to bake bread and we have uh, also recipes that call for things like whole salmon so I enjoy having a very big oven like this. This oven had a very very high price, I think almost six thousand dollars I believe uh, and um, I managed to get it on eBay for 350 euros so uh, that's one of the things that has allowed us to equip our kitchen the way we want it is, is eBay. The same is with the smaller oven over here. I'll take you over here and show you that. Yeah, that's also a Gaggenau oven. And I like it because the door opens from the side. It's also very easy to keep clean. And uh, it has also for bread baking, it has the big advantage, like the, big, the large oven too, that it can actually go up to over 300 degrees Celsius, which is very good for bread baking. Um, we recently replaced our refrigerator. The refrigerator died all of a sudden, and I guess I'll have to go way over here. And we were annoyed. German refrigerators are often very small. Huh, so I guess it's not going to be possible to get the whole thing in, but most of it. Okay, there you can see it. It's uh, it's over six feet tall. It's a Siemens. And um, it's very practically designed. It has a lot of space in the door. And also the shelves, the shelves, by the way, pull out, which is very nice. You can get to things in the back quite easily. It also has um, uh, a place for bottles. We don't use this very often, but uh, at least not for bottles, we use it for other things. Um, we're very pleased with the large refrigerator because uh, it's, I have trouble bending down, bending way down to the ground and these small refrigerators where I have to bend all the way down are very irritating for me and not very comfortable. Uh, we don't have many decorations in our kitchen because like I say it or I didn't say but it is actually our, my workshop. We have um, Karin raises orchids and we have a couple of orchids. One here, a very pretty one. And uh, there's the microwave, some cabinets. Up on the top there is a large kettle, uh, 
solid copper kettle for uh, whipping um, egg whites. And there's another orchid over in the window there. I guess it's going to be difficult because of the lighting. Maybe I can go in a little bit on it there. It's, it's all white. There you can see it. It's blooming very beautifully at the moment. We have a few, a few uh, chilies as decoration hanging here. Actually, they're not just decoration. Karin dries them that way. And um, this, uh, I just noticed this, this plastic bottle here. Uh, we had, we lost one of our cats last, uh, this last winter, and I've just never taken this bottle down that we used to uh, try to keep him from drying out. Uh, it's got saline solution in it. We don't use it regularly. <laughs> we always have some fruit on hand in the kitchen and and a computer because in fact uh, I'll show you sometime our cookbooks we have over 500 cookbooks <laughs> but um, in but it's of course fastest to go to the internet when you want a recipe and look quickly I like to peruse the the cookbooks but um, when I'm in a hurry to get to, to make something, I oftentimes just go to the internet. Okay, I'm going to look for a position to, for the camera here. Just hang on with, sorry for this uncontrolled movement here. Let's see how we are here. Yeah, that should actually work pretty good. That should work pretty well, yeah. Okay, over on the left. Over on the left, we have a... This is an old bread box that um, I use to keep my my homemade artisan bread loaves fresh. This is uh, this is uh, some of my home baked bread. It's going to going to be time to bake again, but this is still quite good. It, this is a um, whole wheat wheat and five percent or ten percent rye. And uh, it keeps quite well. It's uh, from the weekend. Today is Wednesday. We have a, <laughs> an old dualit toaster, British toaster, for four uh, slices. And uh, a cookbook stand that I don't really very use very often because generally I read my recipes beforehand and uh, I don't then look at them too closely while I'm cooking. Um, let's go back here a little further. There's a... I'll get off to the side here. There's a cabinet up here with spices and also more cooking pots on the top. I, I love copper pots and I use them regularly. There's a little problem with them nowadays because many of them are... Um, are tinned inside and there's no one left in Europe that I can find that still tins uh, these pots. The tin wears out after a time. Um, the rest of this video is going to be on, actually it's going to be a mail call. Uh, I received mail last week in fact and I've just gotten, not gotten around to uh, making the uh, video on it yet. Um, Many of you, I guess, can guess by the size of this who it's from. Um, it comes from Canada. It's a very large envelope. And as a consequence, I, like I say, most people probably that are watching this will can already guess where it's from. I thought about how I would open this. It's a very big thing and it needs something big to open with, of course. Uh, of course, there's no lack of knives. I have... Uh, I have a wonderful sashimi knife here, and uh, santoku, and uh, even got a, got a big meat cleaver here. However, it seemed to me this letter deserved something better than that. So what we're going to do today 
is open it this way. I'm going to take a little fumbling around here. But I think we'll get it open. I hope we'll get it open. It's a little too big for the machine. Oh, it's all right. There it is. Okay, I hope I've got everything down in the other end here. Hang on there a second. Yep, that should do it. Okay, see where to go here. Well, that's not working very well, is it? Oh, I didn't set the, I didn't set the, um, I didn't set the uh, distance right here. Canada is about five thousand miles away, uh, kilometers or what? No, miles away. Yeah, so we'll set it on five. Not working very well. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I should have tried this beforehand. You know what? This isn't going to work. Instead, we're going to use... What shall we use? I have a deboning knife here. It's quite nice. I think we're going to use the deboning knife. Might have trouble with that. Oh, that works better. this I'm sure. Underground Auto 1. If you don't, if you, if for some reason you wouldn't be, know who this is and wouldn't be watching his videos, go check him out. Underground Auto 1. He does fantastic body work among many, many other things. Hales Russell is a very, very talented metal worker, body, sheet metal worker, body worker. He does some excellent work and he also is restoring or, or rebuilding his house and he does a lot of other things that are um, very interesting. He's very talented. Check him out. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the, uh, the um, uh, failure here with my letter opener. I may have to sharpen the blade a little bit. Oh, no, I guess not. It's sharp. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye-bye.